Let's talk about our black hole. Wait, that came out wrong. Let's talk about the central black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A star. The black hole that was officially discovered back in 1974 by Bruce Balick and Robert Brown. But they didn't really know what this was, because all they saw was an unusual radio source. The radio source that they basically named Sagittarius A, with a star denoting something really exciting in the middle. But eventually our telescopes got sensitive enough that scientists could now observe the orbits of stars in this region. And so by observing the stars for years and years, they definitively confirmed that there is a black hole here, and its mass is approximately 4.3 million solar masses. The discovery that eventually led to the Nobel Prize in 2020. But since then we had so many other discoveries about this region and about the black hole that actually keep surprising scientists pretty much every year. And we just got another discovery about this central region in the process discovering that there might be something very extreme orbiting very close to it. And so, how wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss the central black hole once again, talk about these recent announcements, and briefly mention other important discoveries from the last few months. Although just as a reminder, it's only been just over a year since this image was finally released, physically showing us what's going on around the black hole, as a lot of activity around it was captured in radio light. Now here of course we see the shadow of the black hole, and also a few regions that seem to be slightly more active than other regions. Although in this case this is not a true picture of a black hole, because this is really more of an averaging of different shots, in some sense showing us a time lapse. And in case you're wondering, here's how this image compares to the original image from the M87 black hole, in essence showing you how these two black holes compare in terms of size. Here Sagittarius A star is just a tiny pixel inside the M87 black hole. That's how massive this other one is. And interestingly, by using this image, we can now even tell the size of the black hole, and more importantly, the size of the accretion disk. Here this disk measures approximately 52 million kilometers across, or about one third of the distance of Earth to the Sun. So once again, here's how it compares to the orbit of Mercury. But once again, these are not optical images, because this just shows us radio waves. And the thing is, it's impossible to take an optical image of the black hole because of all of the dust in the middle. The enormous amount of gas in between the black hole and planet Earth essentially makes this practically invisible. You can only see this in certain frequencies such as X-rays, gamma rays, and of course radio light. And so pretty much most discoveries coming from here are usually in these other frequencies. And there have been quite a lot coming out pretty much every year. As a matter of fact, just a few months ago, we've discussed this unusual discovery of very strange radio filaments that seem to be directly connected to Sagittarius A star and seem to be streaming from it, extending all the way across the central region of Milky Way. As you can see from this image, there sure is a lot of them out there, but exactly what produces them is currently unknown. But normally, different types of radio emissions are associated with magnetic fields. And there definitely is something unusual about the central black hole compared to other black holes when it comes to these fields. For example, we know that based on the observations here, the average accretion rate of various types of gas into the black hole is unusually small for a black hole of this mass, as if something is preventing the gas from falling inside. And that something is very likely magnetic fields around the black hole that surround the gas and dust in this region, very likely funneling all of this gas into the orbit around the black hole as opposed to letting it fall inside, which in essence maintains a small disk around the black hole but also keeps the emissions from the black hole relatively low. And that's actually one of the mysteries about this black hole. It's super quiet compared to everything else we know. Every other central black hole observed out there has been much more active, producing more energy, and definitely way more visible. But definitely not this one. And that's the mystery that nobody has an answer to. Nevertheless, despite the quietness, in the last few years the black hole has experienced occasional flare-up, usually increasing in brightness in certain frequencies, normally X-rays, by anywhere from 70 to 400 times, but just for a very short period of time. It actually happened at least twice back in 2015 and 2019, and it could have been caused by, well, really a lot of things. Maybe something fell into it, like a tiny asteroid, or maybe those magnetic lines snapped, releasing energy, or maybe some of the accretion disk got reshuffled in the process. But to solve these mysteries, a few years back scientists were actually hoping to observe a nearby passage of an unusual gas cloud that was detected earlier that was supposed to show us what exactly is happening around the black hole 
as it was supposed to get, I guess, more active for just some time, as some of this extra gas, from the cloud referred to as G2, was supposed to fall into the black hole. But the thing is, nothing really happened. The observations here were conducted, but even though the gas cloud seemed to have passed, nothing was activated and no additional activity was detected at all. And that was a little bit strange, because it was definitely not what anyone expected. And so some scientists proposed that maybe this was not actually a gas cloud, but some kind of a star instead, or maybe even binary stars that then sort of collided, creating a larger cloud. Or maybe this was something we just don't understand yet. Either way, at the moment there is no answer to this mystery either. And so we never really got to study the accretion disk or the environment around the black hole, because nothing ever activated it to produce additional emissions. And because this black hole is relatively quiet, and the accretion disk around it doesn't produce that much energy, it's essentially very difficult to observe anything here. But some emissions were actually coming from here and discovered completely by accident. And first this was found in the X-rays. By using the data from NASA telescopes, researchers identified an unusual periodicity that seems to be visible in the X-rays. And here something happens every 149 minutes. It wasn't really clear what this is first, and it wasn't actually clear what's even causing this, but it was a very interesting discovery. You can learn more about this in one of the papers in the description. And then just last year, an extremely similar observation was found in different frequencies, this time in radio waves. Here by observing radio waves, and specifically looking for patterns, researchers discovered that something seems to be causing very periodic radio emissions approximately every 76 minutes which actually adds up to being half of the other emissions that were detected a few years before. And the proposed explanation was basically something like this. There might be something in orbit around the central black hole, somewhere at the edge of the accretion disk, essentially causing these emissions as it goes through a certain point inside the accretion disk of the black hole. And so if we had the observations in the X-rays and the radio waves, and they seem to have some kind of a connection, other scientists assume that, okay, maybe we can look at this again in a different frequency and discover something similar as well. And that's exactly what the scientists behind the very recent paper did by looking at this with the Fermi telescope and by analyzing the gamma ray data. And specifically once again looking for periodicity or some kind of a repetition, some kind of a pattern. And as the title here suggests, there is one and it seems to be exactly the same. With all of this data confirming that there is definitely something in orbit here and that something is definitely causing the emissions because it's orbiting around the black hole at approximately 30% the speed of light. And so by moving so fast, it very likely has dramatic interactions with whatever is here, such as the gas in the accretion disk, producing all sorts of frequencies, anything from radio waves to of course gamma rays. Although because the X-ray flare has a periodicity of 149 minutes, here the scientists propose that it's probably some kind of a harmonic of the gamma ray and radio periodicity. And so the fact that we're seeing different frequencies of light with exactly the same period, only raises the next question. What exactly is this? In the older paper, it was assumed to be some kind of a really dense, really hot gas, or some kind of a clumpy region that seems to be stuck there, that potentially creates these effects. But if this is gas, why is it not falling apart? And once again, the initial assumption was that maybe there is a very powerful magnetic field around it that sort of holds everything together. And it's actually very likely the magnetic field emissions that seem to produce some of this periodicity, specifically observations in the radio light. But that would not explain the gamma rays, or at least would not explain them very well. Or I guess here, gamma rays could be produced because this stuff is moving ridiculously fast, nearly 100,000 kilometers per second. And so here it's possible that as this strange blob, or whatever this is, moves around the black hole, it emits energetic flares when it has the interaction with the accretion disk at some point. And it's also possible that all of this is due to the change of temperature. It might get heated up and cooled down, depending on where exactly it's located. Which could then explain why we're seeing more or less radio waves coming from this region. Either way though, whatever this is, it's probably one of the biggest mysteries in the central region, and is definitely some kind of an object we still don't understand. I mean, for all we know, it could be something entirely different, like a magnetar. There was actually one discovered back in 2013, that flared up as it approached the black hole, but this one was not in orbit. And so maybe this one is. Either way, at least for now, this is going to remain a mystery. But we'll definitely come back and talk more about this once there are some updates, or someone discovers what this really is. Check out some of the previous videos, including the one that talks more about the central black hole and the discovery of unusual star formation here. 
or even the fact that this black hole spins really, really fast. And on that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.